HS? I don't know what the HS stands for. Does it say? All right, well, here it is. So good morning. It is Saturday the 21st. Man, what a start to today. So I have to repack that HDMI monitor that I got and take it to a UPS drop area so they can take it back because it does not work. I charged all the batteries that I got and tried each one and it still just doesn't work. What a pain in the butt that is going to be. I've never had to deal with like sending something back to Amazon before. Well, maybe I did a long time ago, but this one is just ridiculous. Got in here, put the chairs down with Drew. I'm gonna get out of here. First I'm gonna see if there's anything else Tara needs before I get out of here, and then I'm getting out of here. Just got the Starbucks for the girl and I. I wasn't gonna get any coffee because I already chugged one, but I smelled it. It smelled so good, I couldn't say no. I'm gonna quick sneak out to this back lot here and then head home and handle all this UPS drama that I have to take care of. Oh, what a bummer. I finally have a minute to shoot this little review of the Canon SX610. This is it. This is the PowerShot SX610 or 610 HS. Came with this instruction manual, which is absolutely huge, and I'm sure that I could learn a lot from it. And then it also came with like a warranty and some other random Canon stuff about a printer. Yeah, I'm sure I'll look at that someday. Probably won't. But here it is. I have a Gorillapod mount on here because I, I mean, this is like my all-time vlogging camera. Whenever I can't use the DSLR, I'm using this on this Gorillapod, and it is perfect for what I need it for. The only thing is, it is absolutely terrible in low light. I mean, so bad. You get in low light, and it's just awful. And then I realized it peaks in the highs really bad, too. Like, if it's super sunny out, you know, it doesn't have an ND filter on it, so it just washes me out. Like, all you'll see is just white spots on my face, which is a super bummer. Places like a supermarket, Target, Walmart, for the quick things that I used to get yelled at for, I can just pull this out now. And it's good. I, I can clip it on the Gorillapod. I can hide it places where, you know, I want to get a shot of Tara and I at the mall or something, shopping, looking at something. I can stick this somewhere and nobody really even notices that it's there. And the microphone quality on this is actually really, really good. Other than the color and the low light stuff, I really love this camera. I mean, it fits in my back pocket. I carry it everywhere with me. Uh, I have a really fast SD card in here. This battery life lasts forever. I mean, I, I never have to charge this thing. I'm always like, man, I should probably charge it because it's probably gonna die. But I shoot 30 to 50 clips on this a day. So that's pretty good. So I probably don't have to charge it for three days and then I charge it. Sometimes I just throw it on there to make sure that, you know, if I know I'm gonna be gone all day or I haven't charged it in three days, but it still says that it's completely full. I've never seen the battery lower than that. And that's completely full. The only good thing about having a DSLR these days is just using interchangeable lenses so you can get that shallow depth of field. That was it. That was my quick review. Now I need to go downtown, shoot my time lap because it's already two o'clock and I work at five. Still waiting on today's vlog to finish rendering. So I'm probably just gonna take the drone out for a couple minutes. But that's it. Thanks guys. <laughs> I 
making my way downtown. I'm gonna shoot right down Main Street. One of my usual spots. Then I'm just gonna work my way around this area here. I'm only gonna do two or, well, three or four, depending on how long Tara is gonna still be at work. All right, let's get this started. He wasn't happy about that. Got about, let's see, 50 minutes until 5 o'clock, and at 5 o'clock it is time to go to work. Well, I should be there by 5, which I'll probably be like 3 minutes late. I'm always late, because I always wait till the absolute last minute. But got the time lapse done. The clouds were pretty awesome today. I hope they came out alright. I really didn't get to review anything, so. And it's just funny, like, how many people stop and talk to me every single time I do that, yet I still only have, they're like, yeah, I'll go watch it right when I get home. And I don't get any new comments from people or any new subscribers. It's just so weird. Like, I guess you just forget. I understand. It's all right that you forgot. I forgive you. But I'm gonna relax until it's time to go to work. And yeah. It's that wonderful time again where I have to go to work. It's a closing weekend shift, so I'll be there till about midnight. Unless we're closing early now. I don't think we are, but. I'm down with that. I don't know what that's crazy. We were dead like all night from nine o'clock till right around 11 when everybody started coming in again. Now we have like four groups of people. I mean, it's okay. I could use the money. It's already almost one o'clock in the morning and I just got home and I just got changed. I'm exhausted. I'm super tired, but I picked up for tomorrow for Jason so he could go to the Renaissance Fair with everybody. So I gotta be back in at 10, between 10 and 11. I'm gonna call it here. Not a very exciting vlog evening, but I did the best I could for what I had. Probably not even gonna touch this stuff until tomorrow, until tomorrow morning. At least I'll get it started tomorrow morning. I hope you guys had a good day, had a good weekend, stayed safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Later.